Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. Well, today I thought I'd show you how to uh, wire up a micro switch in an RC helicopter. Now, this micro switch, what it's going to do, this one anyways that we're wiring today, it's going to run my back tail boom lights. Because um, I want to be able to turn them on and off, but not just my tail booms. I also have my side lights here as well. And I'm going to have a headlight on this thing. So I, what I want to be able to do is when I fly during the day, I want to turn those lights off because yeah, who's going to see the stuff, right? Realistically. Um, the other thing is I can control it at night too. I can just turn on just the sides and the headlight or I can turn on just the tail boom. It's up to me because I've got a switch on either side. Now I'm only wiring the one side today uh, because I don't have my headlight in yet and um, there's a little bit more involved in doing the uh, headlight and side lights because you've got four wires going into one connector for the two lights here and I'm going to have to splice into two of these wires and go in and hook my LED in but I also have to hook my LED into my reds too to power it so it's going to be a little different so we'll show you how to do that when the time comes but for today we're going to show you how to wire in this side now the way I've got this set up I, I took an entire length of this heat shrink tubing and I ran it up the length of my two wires off my micro switch and I, fold, I brought it through the back hole here in behind the landing gear then up through the tower down and under the switch back under back up and then up through the side of this tower so when we're done this we're also going to have to redo the uh, tie strap that was on here originally as well now first thing you got to do is locate where your lights are plugged in so turn your power on make sure it's plugged in and you've got your your tail lights running here so in my case I already know it's a two wire system anyway so we'll just unplug that so we know we've got the right wire now so shut the power off to your helicopter unplug the battery now what we're going to do is we're going to feed this wire down under and we want to get as close as we can to here so we don't interrupt the distance now I've got one wire pre-tinned already so I'm going to show you how to tin these as well now we got to leave some length here that we can also get at now it doesn't matter if you go off the red or the black this is only a switch all it's doing is cutting power so pick a color now I'm going to pick the red and I figure, yeah, that's good. Right about there. Now, the easy way to do this is with a lighter. Just get the, the tip end of the casing on the wire. You don't need very much showing through here. You're also going to need some heat shrink tubing as well. Twist the end of your wires together so that it makes them solid. Now, let's fire up our soldering iron. Let that heat up. Now, while that's heating up, we're going to go and put some of this electrical solder paste. This is for working with fine electronics. And if you get some of this on your fingers, don't worry about it. It is poisonous, but don't stick your fingers in your mouth after. Wash your hands first. Okay, now 
you're going to need about an inch of heat shrink tubing. Now the longer wire is where you're going to want your heat shrink tubing. And you don't want to get the heat shrink tubing hot while you're soldering it because then it will shrink on you too soon. So get it all the way up there as far as you can. This is why you got to leave a bit of length too. Kind of bend your wire around a little bit. What I like to do is put them side by side. that sit for a second and we'll go ahead and we'll grab our next wire oh need heat shrink tubing now don't forget the heat shrink tubing Solid connection. Turn off my soldering iron. Now, before I shrink that one, I want to make sure that everything went okay. So, with your switch in the off position, turn on your power. We have no backlight. Now we have control over our tailbone. Perfect. Now that everything's good, unplug your power again. as centered as you can. That's it. Let that just sit for a minute. And uh, you're good to rock and roll. So that's it for today's video on how to wire one of these things up. So just remember, you can either go off the negative or off the positive wire with a switch. It makes absolutely zero difference because all you're doing is cutting power to the circuit or allowing it to come back on. So, but you only ever go off the one side. Don't try and go off both sides because that's when you short stuff out and that ain't gonna go well. So, but um, just off the one side. So the next time uh, we do the video, uh, we're gonna wire up the other side. And uh, at that time, we're gonna actually assemble the rest of the helicopter too. So it's completely done and you'll see what it looks like assembled and completely finished and up and running with the uh, headlight and everything else so uh, 
but uh, you do need to tape these these tips off to, to run them through and route them because you don't like I said you don't want any kind of chance of any wire hitting your gear so that heat shrink tubing is actually a real lifesaver to be able to do that with and it gives you some rigidness so that you know it's going to stay put too and it's going to stay put even better once you get your um, tie strap back on in here. Now, what I did notice on these helicopters too, just as an extra, um, back in here behind the, the side plate, they're not always tied. Um, actually, I haven't found too many of them that actually are. So I usually tie these wires off because I've seen a few of them where the, the wire comes down below here and just misses the gear. So if you take this side plate off, which to do that you gotta take, take off this one, take off this side, etc. Okay, repeat process both sides. Um, you can tie these wires up and it's only on this side you need to worry about the wires because there's nothing on here to worry about on the other side. But um, put a tie strap in there and it'll keep those wires hugged up in place. So uh, anyhow, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope it helps you out. Uh, for any of your little wiring needs for your RC helicopter. Uh, same thing would apply to toys like uh, your RC cars, your boats, etc. You know, that's how you wire a switch in. So, anyway, see you, see you in the next one.